Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. I just want to say thank you so so much for 400 subscribers. I love you guys and I appreciate you all. Now let's get started with the painting today. Hey guys, I'm back. So I just want to show you a couple of things and we're going to talk about what we're doing today. But before I do that, I just want to say a big give a big big shout out to my best friend Sarah Rabinu. She was the first person to actually, um, you know, help me out on my PayPal uh, and support me like she always does, um, and not monetarily. Just you know, obviously being my best friend, you know, emotionally just being there for me. Um, she has taught me so, so much and she has helped me in so many different ways and I just want to give her a big, big shout out today. I would like to, um, I'm going to put her link to her Facebook page in the description below and I did mention her before on my channel. She's like a love and empowerment coach and primarily works with women um, and it's not about like you know, necessarily finding a partner or anything like that. And as, as usual, everyone's beeping outside. Sorry about that. Uh, my room is not soundproofed, obviously, if you watch my channel so far. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's really about self care and healing yourself. And, you know, and then once you do that, you can you know get into a relationship and if you're already in a relationship uh, make it stronger but it's about self-care and really healing uh, any wounds that you have and she is really 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 good at giving you tools um, to do that and in and sometimes I don't even use the tools she has given me for like to say relationship just like for me and it affects everything in my life so yeah, um, I just want to give her a big, big shout out to Sarah. I love you so much. Thank you so, so much for supporting me in all ways. And that's it. Alrighty. So, and a big thank you again, uh, everyone for 400 subscribers, uh, specifically 405. So thank you so, so much. All right, I really appreciate you guys watching and being here. And I never honestly thought I would ever even have 400 subscribers. I didn't even think I would have one. So I am incredibly grateful and happy and so happy to have my own YouTube channel to be doing this. It's given me um, a lot of happiness in my life. Anyway, before I get too soppy and start crying, let's get on with... Uh, what we're doing today. So this, um, I just want to show you this real quick. This was the second half to my um, my little uh, Dollar Tree haul. Uh, another wonderful friend of mine, Sonia, yesterday she dropped it off to me. She lives not too far away from me. So yeah, I just got some, you know, uh, St. Patty's Day stuff, which I'll be using probably in my Jacksepticeye, um, you know, a little dedication. I got some glue sticks, you know, 16 each. And I thought I got little bunnies, actually little carrots. I was probably thinking of that bunny. So I got little carrots to, you know, pour paint over using some kind of project. Here's the big bunny. All right, and um, these are a little flim. This one's actually not bad. Um, the other one I got, I forgot what it was. Um, that was a little flimsy. Oh, the shamrock. That was a little flimsy. This is actually not bad for a dollar. Um, that's pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna pour somehow. Try and pour over that, and then I can make my own little wreath or something like that. Alrighty, and then this is some floral foam. And the reason why I got this, I don't make my own little floral um, like displays or anything like that. But I saw someone, because I've been keeping uh, glass bottles, like, like old liquor bottles and stuff like that. Uh, glass so I could pour over them. And I saw someone 
quite some time ago on another channel. They use like thick craft sticks or something and, uh, sh you know, put it in the bottle and then kind of stuck it in the floor for them to keep it steady. And I've been trying to find them in the Dollar Tree. So these, I don't know how expensive these usually are, but for a dollar, that's beautiful. So that's what that's for. And then as usual, at night, what I do is during the day I paint and then at night when everyone's asleep, I am crazy and I make more resin so I continue to use the uh, clear cast and this is like extra resin I had because look at these I got more molds um, these are my crazy little alien cats uh, my husband said they look very Egyptian so I like that I love Egyptian stuff so this is what I made with these and now these are 100% cure this one is my favorite look at her very cool I'm actually can't wait to wear that I'm gonna put the um, little cord on and see the little pink nose that is actually the pink glass I put inside from primal flow and then I use that uh, mermaid um, uh, glitter and then I painted on the inside little ears so that came out really I really love them I'm gonna have a lot of fun because I got some really cool colors coming from Primal Flow and speaking of Primal Flow this month I did not get my uh, you could skip a, a subscription month if you wanted and because I just bought eight bottles of paint I'm like, you know what? I really didn't need another four bottles. I have, look at all this. I have a lot of colors and I have some duplicates and then I got some, got some new colors. So I really didn't feel like I needed more paint right now. So I skipped a month with the, the, um, the pouring, uh, acrylic pouring subscription. But what I did do was I kept I have a subscription also to the resin art, which is only $19.99, and actually they are refunding me my um, shipping, which was really, really nice of this company. So that's what I did. So I have some resin art, like micas and, and um, like pigment flakes and you know stuff like that. And then I ordered some extra as well. And I used, of course, coupons because I have a lot of coupon codes. So I really, I said, let me not, you know, waste money because I really didn't need any more paint right now. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm actually, it's coming today. Um, so I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. I have a lot of micas coming, glitters, um, some 3D, uh, resin 3D art, things like shells and all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah. So that is coming. So okay, so this is what we're doing today. Um, this is my new cam. This is an eight by eight. Um, I love squares. So today we are doing a pastry bag pour. I have used this before my channel because you can see the paint. I've used it a couple of times. Um, it's actually kind of cool. So I wanted to do something. I just, you know, I, like I said, I haven't found anything new and exciting to pour out of recently. But the things that I have found, I always wanted to reuse them again. It's been a while. So we're going to do that today. So I am going to like coat the canvas first with some white. Yeah, I know. There is white paint in there. I believe I, I should, I forgot to label it. I believe it's either the Artist Loft uh, Acrylic Flow White or the, the uh, Pouring Masters White with Flow Troll. It's either one. I should have labeled it, but sometimes I forget. Okay, so I'm going to coat the canvas first, and then I'm going to fill up that bag with um, the Primal Flow in the Bubblegum Pink, the Royal Violet, Pacific Navy, and the Ink and Gold. And then I'm just going to squeeze it out onto the beautiful canvas here. Okie dokie. So I have talked way long enough. Uh, that is what we're doing today, and I will be back in a minute.
Hey guys, I'm back. So real quick, I don't want to make this video too, too long because I talk as usual too much in the beginning. You know what I love about these types of pours with the uh, the pastry bag and that kind of, you know, that meat uh, injection thing that I use is that, um, you know, you kind of never know what you're going to get. And I really find this to be very interesting. Um, you know, like with a ring pour, you know, you got to have a ring with a kiss pour. It's kind of like you, you, you're, you're striving for a certain look and you know, when you've just, you've succeeded or not, you know, with certain pours, you kind of know the type of effect you're going to get. Uh, like with the swipe, I know that I'm going to get something like this, hopefully, because this is really cool. With like reverse dip, I know I'm gonna get something like this. But with the um, with like the pastry bag and, and stuff like that, you kind of don't know because in a way it's good. I had to fill up the bag twice um, because I just like the first go around, you know, was spilling out a little bit. So I said, let me start pouring onto the canvas before like I lose all my paint. Um, but you know, it wasn't like enough, so I added a little bit more. I didn't need a lot more. Um, but this, and also this is a sm slightly smaller canvas, it's an eight by eight. Um, but I just find this to be so, first of all, the color combination is just gorgeous. I love the little white popping through, and you know, just like I love when that happens, just a little bit of white. Um, but like, look at that. It's just like, I have no idea what's gonna happen. So, on that note, everyone, um, that is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching today. I hope everyone has a great day. And thanks again for my beautiful 400 subscribers. Like I said, 405. Thank you so much. And if you like this video, give me a little thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Follow me on social media, all my links are below, as well as my friend Sarah. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.